Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. We're going to the White House for this edition of OG Pod, and we're going to talk about Joe Biden, the President of the United States, and his connection to the Mafia. Are you ready? Let's go. So uh, let's first talk about uh, the 1972 U.S. Senate race uh, for the Delaware Democratic seat uh, is what launched Joe Biden into the national political scene, has been in Washington, D.C. ever since, won his 1972 Democratic Senate seat by 3,500 votes um, and got a boost and a uh, push across the finish line by the Teamsters, Frank the Irishman Sheeran, and Russell Buffalino, the Mafia Don of Northeast Pennsylvania. Let's be clear that there has never been any allegations that Joe Biden knew or was complicit in him being helped in that first election. But there's no doubt he was helped, and that help um, got him that Senate seat. Um, so the same people that were helping Jimmy Hoffa get into office in the late fifties and become the president of the Teamsters helped Joe Biden get to Washington, DC. Are we shocked? I don't know. Uh, so uh, let's break down the story real quick. Um, Biden was running against a former governor, Caleb Boggs, who was the runaway favorite when this, um, election cycle 52 years ago began and held a 32 point lead in the polls. Um, Biden slowly but surely cut into that lead over the last couple of months, really focusing on pro labor and and going into labor unions uh, and, and giving kind of fiery talks and um, presenting himself as a progressive in the labor uh, labor movement opposed to Boggs, who was kind of a stodgy old timer. Um, and that gave him some traction going into no, going into the uh, first week of November, but he was still down. Um, Boggs sought to counter uh, the message that was resonating with these, um, the labor force in Delaware and took out a paid insert advertisement in the two biggest newspapers in Delaware to run in the 48 hours before the election. Um, Frank Sheeran at that point was running the Wilmington Teamsters Local 326. Um, For people that are mafia aficionados, which I'm guessing most of the people watching this are, they all know that Frank the Irish Irishman Sheeran was the the dubious, the quite dubious, self-admitted um, shooter in the Jimmy Hoffa uh, murder. Uh, I don't believe that's true, um, but but he said it, and it was written in a book uh, called "I Heard You Paint Houses" by Charlie Brandt. That book was eventually optioned by Marty Scorsese and turned into the movie "The Irishman" with Robert De Niro. In that book, Sheeran talks about this incident where he helped uh, the situation where where him and his boss Russell Buffalino helped Joe Biden get into office. So what do you do if you control the uh newspaper delivery trucks and you're trying to manipulate an election with the uh front runner trying to, you know, get some breathing room from the up and coming challenger by putting uh these advertisements to get in front of the faces of hundreds of thousands of, of uh, Delaware residents, you disrupt the supply chain. And that's what Frank Sheeran did. He ordered a uh, basically kind of internal strike where his teamsters that were driving the trucks for the delivery company um, didn't go to work for 48 hours before the election, as well as on election day. As a result, those newspapers never got delivered. Those advertisements were never in front of the constituents. And on election day, Joe Biden zipped past uh, Boggs and won by only 1.5%, 3,500 votes. Um, 
Frank Sheeran. If you believe him, three years later, murdered Jimmy Hoffa. Uh, I will just tell you that I don't believe that. The FBI doesn't believe that. Nobody outside of Robert De Niro and Marty Scorsese believes that. Um, but, you know, he went on to finish off his career as a, a Teamster mob affiliate, as well as a kind of a strong arm and enforcer for, for Russell Buffalino and Angelo Bruno. Passed away about a, maybe six months before his book came out in the early 2000s. The Irishman hit uh, Netflix in, in, I believe, 2019, $200 million budget. Uh, but that's the story of how Joe Biden got to Washington, D.C. with the help of the Teamsters and the Mafia. OG Pod, Scott Bernstein, out. Thank you.